Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Hayden from HHWCustoms.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys these new um, Hot Wheel main lines that are going to be released soon in 2022. These are unspun, they got a little bit ago, and I figured uh, not a lot of people have seen these, so I'll just do a video on them. Um, we have the um, Liberty Walk um, Nissan Silvia S15, Toyota Tacoma, the 2020 um, casting, and the um, Toyota Land Cruiser 80 series. So we're going to be going through all of them and just showing you what they look like. So uh, first up, first up is this S15 here uh, with the really exaggerated fender flares. And uh, I'm gonna just have some video rolling right now of it, but you can see it has this really crazy, um, almost looks like a lightning bolt um, decal inside of it, or like a time attack uh, body kit to it. More focused on aerodynamics. Has some clear glass, which has the headlights molded in as, with them as well. So you have nice plastic. Um, here we have the interior. And the interior actually has a lot of detail. You can see it even has some, um, gauge clusters in there on the dashboard and uh, even details like the emergency brake not much else going on in there but a lot of detail um, the base has um, it's gonna come in this nice uh, pearl pearlish gray it's really nice there's a name if you guys want to read it uh, Liberty Walk super silhouette Nissan Silvia S15 and um, Malaysia base and then here's the casting I actually really like this casting a lot I wasn't a fan of it through the pictures but once I have it in hand it really changed my perspective on it and it actually looks super cool I'm glad I got this one I can't wait to uh, make some decals up for these guys uh, so you can see how just how deep the actual taillights um, are there pretty good I really like it even the front uh, splitter I think that's the right word for it splitter pretty cool next up we have this very nice Toyota Tacoma that a lot of people seem to be on either side of the fence here a lot of them say the rest of the casting looks great except for how tall the actual windows are because it seems like they kind of just scrunched it down so that's one of the pet peeves that a lot of people have seen but the casting overall itself is very nice in my opinion. Uh, I really like this. Wasn't a big fan of Tacoma's um, until recently and uh, this is a really nice casting in my opinion. It comes with all the um, headlight and tail light decals, which uh, is a nice touch. You know, Hot Wheels sometimes leaves that out. Um, sunroof, even, they even managed to do the little antenna on the very top little triangle cone fin looking antenna, very nice detailed bed and um, you can see that the wheel wells actually go into the bed just like the actual truck so it's pretty cool it even has the 4x4 tampos on the tailgate here very nice and the wheels on here are actually size 14 so it's made to sit you know more like a truck and not like a, a gasser so it's a little bit bigger wheels which I really enjoy and um, even has a nice little I think that's supposed to be a hood scoop on them. I can't tell. I don't. I don't remember if the actual cars come with hood scoops on them, but very nice little feature. It's actually molded here into the interior. You can see that. That's actually part of it. And the inside here is actually super detailed. I mean, just look at the steering wheel alone. You really can see a lot of detail in there. Um, you can even see the little speedometers and gauges and stuff like that. Tiny bit where the radio should be. And um, has the full five seats all the way around with all the detail inside. Very, very nice. Even has cup holders. So I think they really took their time on this because I knew it could be a fan favorite. So hopefully this starts coming out more and more with more more um, decal choices and everything else with it. Not quite sure what this dent is, but there seems to be two or three dents here. I don't think that's supposed to be there, but I guess we'll see. There's nothing inside the truck. It's all, it's all flat. It seems so. Yeah, that was just a mess up when it was off the assembly line. But we're all really nice. And then the base has some ups. There are the numbers. It's a 2020 Toyota Tacoma, and up uh, Malaysia as well. So it's pretty cool. 
I really like this casting. I actually ended up making these decals for the truck itself. This is the um, TRD Rally um, livery that is actually supposed to go on this truck. So uh, I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like uh, when it's actually on the truck, or at least digitally on the truck. But uh, if you want some of these, I have these on my website, uh, hhwcustoms.com. Um, but yeah, this casting's super nice. I really like the blue. Um, but um, can't wait to see this thing in white. I feel like a lot of people are after this thing in white. So hopefully they start coming out with more castings and they leave the headland and um, tail light decals there. Uh, I think that's really cool. Good job, Hot Wheels. And last on the list is this Toyota Land Cruiser, the 80 series. And this one, I love. I love the way this thing looks. Even just the flat gray one, which I also have. It's super nice. They have all these um, all these great decals on the side of it. And um, even a little mud splatter, which is really cool. I'm not a fan of the brown wheels, but I guess for the theme they were going with it being through the mud, they, they had to. So it's very nice overall. It does come with um, headlights decals however does not come with tail light decals or license plate um so that's kind of a bummer but uh, that's what decals are, my, are for so i have some of those on my website as well so you want to redo them you can have the original headlights and some tail lights as well as a license plate to put on um right there so uh, this is pretty cool it has a nice sunroof on it front um bull bar or push bar i'm not quite sure on the terminology for it but that's there it's super detailed see it has a wind so two spots light the fog lights and the bar itself and it covers the nice toyota decal you can kind of see peeking out right there there you go you can see the nice toyota decal right there um so it's pretty nice i do like how they detail the front end i just wish the back had a little bit more um decals you know they did all this decals i feel like they could have just added the two tail lights and call it a day but uh out of our control now but you can see the decals are super nice super clear and um i think they did a really good job on this the other side is the exact same just mirrored um so yeah very nice moving on we have the um interior which is a little hard to get out because the bare tire in the back but there you go clear uh tinted glass so that's pretty nice i do like the tinted look um and again the um Steering wheel is super detailed. This is more of the bland casting because you can't really see too much inside of it. The bland interior, I should say. Because uh, the steering wheel is in detail and that's pretty much about it. You don't have anything on the dash. You have the generic stick um, through there and just a couple indentations. They did it very, um, very boring, I guess, in my opinion. But it does have this nice color. It's black with some sparkles, some silver uh, flake in there, it looks like. Or pearls. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I think it leads a lot to the imagination as they knew people were going to really tear up these cars just like I did. Um, and uh, make them into something else. So that's pretty cool. They also have these mud flaps uh, molded to the interior um, to give it that more um, authentic look without, I guess, shaving it to the body. So that's pretty cool. Fun fact, the spare tire here is actually a um, plastic version of the new Hot Wheel wheel that is coming out. Um, I'll show that right now. So this is actually the new Mattel wheel, uh, as far as I know, at least, that is coming out. It's a bi-spoke with a lot of um, rivets and uh, a lot of detail, surprisingly. This is a uh, size 10, so this fits on a lot of the main, um, a lot of the mainline cars, but um, Mattel just added rubber usually and makes it bigger. I've seen these offered in donut wheels, Donut rubber, off-road rubber, and just like this, which is in the standard um, race. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, here's a side-by-side -side comparison for you. But, I'm pretty sure this is just a digital file for it. So, it's a nice little sneak peek into what's to come. Um, I could be completely wrong, but um, it looks very similar in my eyes, except for the little dents in between the spokes. But, uh, they look pretty close. So, hopefully... A lot of these wheels will come in a lot of different colors. And then moving on to the base here. It's uh, standard black, no flake like the other ones, unfortunately. But I think that adds to it, honestly. Having just no flake, no pearls. Toyota Land Cruiser, Cruiser 80. 
in the 80 series and it's pretty cool 2020 casting you see it even has this nice detail of the um the guardrails and the steps here so very nice job and um from what i can tell it looks really really well done i haven't haven't come across something i don't like about these cars and i wasn't like i said i wasn't a big fan of these before but these castings actually really changed my mind especially in the oops in that gray one so there you guys go these are the new 2022 castings pretty cool thanks guys for watching and um good luck on finding these i feel like these are gonna be really hard to find and if you get them hold on to them and start customizing um i like to tear everything apart so that's why i got these so these are these might be stripped but that's another video all right thanks guys for watching see you guys in the next one